Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack bringing you more live tournament action in Alt June 2011. We have got game number two between Zergcore and Tox Lonely. We are on what map is this, Shikoi? I can't remember. Zelnaga Caverns, the map that Tox Lonely absolutely loves with all his heart. He would live in this world if he could. <laughs> and so he is tonight. So, and this is his map choice. He did lose game number one, so the pressure is definitely on right now for him. He has got to win this match to stay in, or this game rather, to stay in the match. Yeah, I agree. But, you know, and even the talk, it's it's an inside joke, I think, between me and him. But um, we we have so much fun playing this map, me and him. We must play this, game, this actual map 15 times a day at least oh, and wow. just have fun. And, and we play Pokemon. It's the funnest thing to listen to. While you play this map, but I mean the fact the fact that he would message me beforehand and say that to me and then put put that message in the game, I actually don't think he has too much pressure. I think he just he needed that. You know, he got caught off guard, and I think he will not let his game slip. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, we'll we we have come to expect great things from this young man, and he is he's he's never given us any real reason to doubt him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that last game, I wouldn't say is, is a reason to doubt him at all. I mean, yeah, he got caught off guard. Yeah, he may have done a couple things better, but you know what? Don't don't critique my gameplay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I I can't dog Zerkor either. I mean, he did what he needed to do. He is obviously serious about winning, um, or going at least as far as he can. He's got to go up against any opponent he's facing. So whether it's just the guy that I'm rooting for in the tournament or not, um, he did what he had to do. And all props to him. Yeah, and well played. I mean, it was a very good job. We thought mm -hmm. he may may commit to that harassment, but he didn't. He backed off and then took made an attack that stuck. And he's not going to do the same strategy this time, which, eh, will it work out? Probably not. Um, I, I, I stray from, again, allowing Tox and Lonely to get his game going. Right. Uh, so he's not going to do as much harassment this time. He's going to play the longer game, and I don't know if he can stand on Tox Lonely's level, honestly. Yeah, you know what the, what Tox Lonely is like. Hmm. He he's just like the juggernaut. <laughs> Once he gets going, I mean, nothing can stop the guy. Mhm. Mm so here we here we see again. Um, he's not taking advantage of Zergling's speed, probably because he's saving up for mailings, I would imagine, but. Um, he was quicker on his spawning pool than Zergcore. Yep. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. He looks like he's got Zergling speed in production, so Zergcore is going to obviously do some early harassment with Lings. Yep. Let's see here. <laughs> Tox Lonely is doing no scouting inside the base, so he doesn't really know what's going on. But he's going to see all those Zerglings so that are sitting right underneath him. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah, and he and I love how he he doesn't mind telling him that you know telling his opponent, hey, I just scouted all your links, by the way. It's mm -hmm. essentially just what he did. So, I mean, he plays some good mind games, and he's I mean, it's it's really fun to watch. I love the fireworks we get out of this matchup. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's good to have um, two guys that really don't care for each other, um, and the fact that that just creates people to have some sort of. Um, I mean, they have to pick sides, really. So I mean, it's fun. It it definitely adds to the competition. Yeah. Because we'll definitely see both these characters um, in more alt tournaments to come. So I mean, it's just going to be interesting to see how they progress as players. Um, and see, you know, how far this rivalry really goes. Right. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see. Oh, the Zerglings trying to pick off those Banelings from behind. I did get one of them. Well, no, it blew up, didn't it? And he's going to get that other one. Oh, he's not. Smart by Zergcore just to individually. Oh, but and then he, he didn't did. have him on hold position. Yeah, you saw what he was doing. He was trying to take him out one at a time. But he didn't have those guys on hold position in the back. And so when the Baneling got close enough, they auto-attacked. The AI t kicked in. Did you catch that? Yeah, I did. Uh, what a mistake. And so now Zergor is going to try to use this advantage to push out. Um, not sure if that's... Well, I mean, it's technically smart because Tox only doesn't really have much. Yeah, but this is, this is, this is what we were talking about in that last matchup. It's the type, of, the type of attack and harassment that can't really stick. 
It's not game winning. It's it's one of those things where Toxlone is going to be able to hold it off because he can he can produce lings in his base, and they're mm-hmm. right there ready to defend. So. I think that it would have been wiser for him to back up and try and focus on getting a different type of advantage over his opponent than doing a, just a little harassment. Look at this, we got more banelings ready to go. Are they going to get the snipe on this queen, though? No, they are not. Very interesting. You know, I'm just surprised that he did... I mean, his queen has no energy, or um, I guess, yeah, I guess they call it energy for the Zerg, but, I mean, he could... He already spit his larva. He could take out that that scouting overlord in his base. Oh. He just has to take these roaches out. I mean, again, Zerkor has not done a very good job about getting gas, so the amount of roaches that he can produce is not going to be that great. And the fact that they have to go across the whole map just to get to Tox on these bases is not very good. Right. Yeah, and there you go. That stopped the rush. Going. Yep, now Tox is... Uh is supply blocked because of that snipe there. That queen did get the, get the kill on that overlord up on the north position there. So Don't you hate that? I hate supply block. Oh, I hate getting supply blocked. The trouble for me is I'm a Protoss player, you know, like yourself. And when we get supply blocked, that means it's oversight on our part, usually. <laughs> instead, of, <laughs> instead of your opponent forcing you into it, you know what I mean? It definitely. And, and, but it's hard. It's hard for Protoss players because, you know, we just... We get trigger happy with those gateway units, and it's just like spam, spam, spam. Oh, we're supply block. It sucks. Yep. Yeah, especially when we get open. on two base, you know, and then you've got at least six mm -hmm. gateways, warp gates, rather. This is, uh, I think this is the kind of game that Tox only wants to play. I mean, yeah, the harassment is great, but he's definitely not getting stopped as as uh, as quickly and I don't really see Zerkor um I don't see him as much of a I guess he would be considered macro. I mean he's not very good at getting his bases up, getting his tech up. Uh he's good at harassment, but I mean in the end I think Tox only is going to be able to come out of this on top just cuz you know he knows how to do that better. Yep. I I mean look at the if you look at the drone count 23 to 23 and uh you know, I mean, even after being harassed like that, it's like he's staying right in the game economically, and it's I, it's those type of harassments that he just can't make stick on Zergcore's part. It seems like against Tox, he's just too good at holding off that type of stuff. And I think the reason why they both had the same mindset. I mean, again, it, it comes down to these newer players. You have a build order. It's great to have a build order. It, makes you very structured but you have to have a mindset for mid game and you have to execute that transition so they both wanted to go roaches but um, Toxel only gets his gas preparation in order um, so he has the same drone concept the same number but because he got more gas he can have more roaches right. doesn't matter how many um, Zerglings he keeps pushing out from Zergcore's perspective because he's so fixated on getting those Zerglings out that now he's got to go back and say, okay, well now I'm behind on gas. I got to get gas, and that's where Toxalony will start to get an advantage. Right, and the funny thing is, is he's got two gas up, but he's only mining from one of them. Mm -hmm. And so a little bit of oversight there. He does have that infestation pit behind the gas there. He's just barely getting that extractor saturated now, so. I mean, there's just a couple things, I think, in this matchup, mistakes that Zergcore is making that he didn't make in that in that last game. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to be, I think they're going to put talks only ahead. It's going to be very interesting. You can notice what um, Tox Lonely's next game plan is. I mean, I'm sure he had a mindset for this, which is why he's executing so great. Um, I just, I don't, I can look at Tox Lonely's base and I can see the development. You know, I could write a list of, okay, I can see he was doing this, doing this, and then he was going to move into this. I can see that. But with Zerkor's base, I really don't know what he was thinking. I can't actually put him on anything and say, okay, well, I know where he's going with this. And that's what I think is going to end up sucking for him. Right. He did, now Zerkor did get spy, or spore crawlers rather, down. Mm -hmm. in his main and was able to hold those uh, mutalisks off, that mutalisk harass, so that was pretty good game sense there by Zergcorp. My goodness, I'll have to give him that right away. Mm -hmm. the only, and I, I can see why he pulled back now, but it, I, I can only Im imagine that after he pulls off these lings, um, 
he's just going to go and start picking off units that are not close to spores, really. Yeah. I mean, he's that far away from a Hydra list, so it's not like he's literally going to have to build a, a, a grip load of spore crawlers. Because, I mean, even then, I mean, I can't ping for... Oh, I can. Like, can I? I don't know. I hate, I hate the controls. <laughs> Are you pinging? <laughs> I'm trying. What you do is you hold control and ping on the mini-map. You can't ping on the in the screen. You have to ping on the mini-map. Does that make sense? There, there we go. go. Yep. So he, he, can, he can hit his evolution chamber. He can hit his second gas. He could even hit his roach warren if he picks off the uh, the queen. I mean, well, yeah, but look, I mean, he's just he's decimating the natural of Zergor right now. Yeah, and he's going completely unchecked. I'm, I'm saying this is going to have to be game. I think Tox has got his opponent plastered right now with too much air. And it, it just it seems kind of dumb on Zergor's behalf because. He wanted to do the same thing he did last game, right. but he did not do it the same way. Right. If you're going to go Zergling Harassment, go Zergling Harassment. Don't build a, a half. I mean, it's like if I tried to foregate with Protoss, but I also wanted to do Robo at the same time. It's like I can't do both. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. And so here is our last ditch effort from Zergcore, trying to make something happen economically, I assume. He'll he'll get a lot of damage in though I think I mean actually I take that back I didn't notice Tox's uh, roaches defending roaches yeah so I'd say that is going to be it for Zergcore he is down to 32 supply now that is a brutal situation to be in he does have some hydras finally on the field but only five that's definitely not going to be enough look at all these units streaming across the map Tox is definitely going to take this opportunity to end this game. Mm -hmm. And it all comes down again, the execution. I can't stress this enough to players is you should know what you're going to be at by the 15th minute. And you'll notice it's about the 17th minute the game is over, but he knew where he was going to be. So he executed perfectly. Right. Very, very well played um, on both both of these guys' parts. I think Zerkor just let it get away from a little bit there, like you're saying, after the mid-game. So uh, very, very good game. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. If you don't alt-tab, definitely alt-Starcraft. We will see you guys out there.